Uh, well, in the previous film, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief, uh, I played the lightning thief who stole the uh, Zeus's lightning bolt and tried to bring down the, the rule of Olympus. And in this version, in the Sea of Monsters, that's sort of the continuation of my, my journey, is rebelling against my father, who I'm, uh, I'm more than angry at and feel, feel forgotten and, and neglected. And because of that, I want to I sort of show them who's boss in a way. And once more, I, try, I come up with a plan to, to end their reign over us. And uh, I bring some demigods over to the dark side in the process. In the Sea of Monsters, Perseus' quest is essentially to stop Luke most of the way through. It starts off and everything's great at camp and going well, and, 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 and Percy's still struggling to survive amongst all these, these seasoned professionals of demigods. And Luke comes in and sort of crashes their party in a really terrible personal way that dates back to his and Annabeth's childhood, uh, and he poisons the tree, which is Talia. Uh, that leads us on a chase for the fleece, the golden fleece, which has the power to bring anything back to life. I need it for my reasons, they need it for theirs, and because of that, we struggle to gain the fleece. When people see, when people see the Sea of Monsters, I just hope they have a lot of fun. I mean, we're having a blast making it, you know, it's it's with the fight sequences and everything we have it's great i mean it's it's a total popcorn film uh families should go and just have a great time you know and learn something in the process